Hello everyone, I'm Helen Scott from JetBrains and this is our PyCharm Getting Started video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at testing in PyCharm. Before we start though, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel. Our data shows that almost 80% of you have yet to subscribe. If you like this and other videos in our series, then make sure you click the subscribe button now so you don't miss any updates from the PyCharm team. Right, let's move on to the episode. Testing is an important part of the software development workflow and PyCharm makes it easier for us to manage that. In this video, we're going to look at how we can set up our test runner, create our tests, work with the test tool window, enable auto test, and then we're gonna take a look at coverage. Let's get started. For starters, we're going to use the PyTest framework for this demo, so I need to install that first. We can search for PyTest and install it. Now let's minimize our tool windows before we move on. When we select a Python interpreter, PyCharm will auto-detect any test runner that is installed and it will default to unit test when nothing is found. So I need to tell PyCharm that I want to use PyTest instead of the built-in test framework. If you want to read up on this area, then you can find more details in our documentation. Now that's done, let's get PyCharm to create our test class, our test directory, and then set up our interface so that we can see both the code that we're testing and the tests that we're going to write. First, let's create our test file and we'll get PyCharm to create our test source root at the same time. We'll also go ahead and tell PyCharm that this new folder is the root for all our tests in this project. PyCharm has generated the empty test file for us, but let's open it in the right split so we can see both our class and our test and then hide the project tool window so we have more space to work with. Here's our car class that we want to test. We can see that it implements methods like accelerate, break, and more. We're not going to focus on writing the tests here, so let's move on to the next step where we can see how to run our tests. To run the entire file, you can right click and select Run PyTest in Test Car. You can also select the current file from the Run Configurations drop down. Of course, you can access all of your run configurations with the keyboard shortcuts, in this case, Command Option and R or F9 if you're using Windows, and then select the one that you want. Your Run Tool window will open, indicating how many tests have passed or failed. In our case, all tests are passing. We can also use our gutter icons to run individual test cases. Of course, you can also run your tests with the debugger in all the same ways. Running your tests is important, but you'll probably spend a lot of your time in the run tool window as well. Let's look at some of the cool features that will make understanding the output of our tests easier. Let's start by running our tests again. Great, they've all passed. Time to break something. I'm going to change these assert statements now to see how this impacts our tests. We'll run our code again, and now we have failing tests. When we look at the output, we can see exactly where we went wrong. First, PyCharm shows us the value the test expected, and then the actual value generated by our code. It also displays a link that we can click and PyCharm will jump to that line where the failure happened. This is just a demo project, but for bigger projects, it's also useful to have an overview of your failing tests on the left-hand side. So you can click it and PyCharm will jump to the test output. Right, let's talk briefly about auto-testing because it's often easier to have our tests running in a continuous fashion, especially if we're working with test-driven development. You can do that by enabling the auto test feature, meaning PyCharm will run your tests every three seconds by default. When we change our code on the left-hand side, 
PyCharm will automatically run our tests on the right hand side. Let's quickly change the delay to one second and fix those failing tests. Perfect. Next up, coverage. This is a PyCharm professional feature, but what is it and why do you even care? One of the ways that we can run our tests with coverage is with this button in our run configuration toolbar. We can see that PyCharm is telling us that we need to install coverage to use that feature. When we press this button again, PyCharm runs all our tests with coverage. If you click the file name to open the file, you can also see which lines are covered by checking the colouring in the gutter. A green bar in the gutter means that this line was covered, whilst red means it was not. Of course, you can also run individual tests with coverage from the gutter icons and access the functionality from the right-click context menu. Okay, this is the end of the episode. We've covered setting up your test runner, running your tests in lots of different ways, analyzing your test results, working with auto test, setting up test coverage. And as always, this is just at the tip of the iceberg to get you started. For more details, you can check out our documentation. If you still got questions, we'd be very happy to answer them in the comments. And once again, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future updates from the PyCharm team.